Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install PS3 games on a USB or on a um, hard drive and then play the games on your PS3. You can also copy the games from the USB or hard drive to your PS3's internal hard drive um, by using this video. Okay guys, so once you're on your computer, as you can see, here is my USB um, connected. All you want to do is copy across your PlayStation 3 game onto your USB. So on the USB right here, as you can see, I've got a games folder. To get that, all you do, right click, new folder, call it games. Inside the games folder, here is my game that I copied across. I'm pretty sure it's about, um, let me just check, yeah, 6 gigabytes, so quite a large file size. But anyway, this is what the game um, should look like. It should have this sort of file structure with all these files in and everything. Um, games can be downloaded on the internet, they can be burnt off um, PS3 game discs. There's quite a few ways to get them. Um, I can't tell you guys how to get them because I'm pretty sure um, the PS3 isn't irrelevant enough yet to show people how to get free games. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Also make sure that your USB or hard drive is in the FAT32 format. So once you've got a USB looking like this with a games folder, um, you can have as many games there in as you want. I'm pretty sure they can be um, region free as well, so pretty much just get any you know Jap American game you want. It will work on any system. So once you've got all your games and stuff like that, all you want to do is connect this USB to your PS3 and then I'll show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so once you're over onto your PlayStation 3 and your USB drive or USB hard drive is plugged in, what you want to do, you just want to scroll over and you want to go ahead and launch up Multiman. So if you guys don't have Multiman, there will be a tutorial on how to install that in this video's description. Just press X to open it. Okay, so once you're on Multiman, you just want to scroll across to the game section. What you want to do, you just want to press X to refresh all of the content. And as you can see, here is my game, Bionic Commando. You can see it's got a little um, USB sort of logo next to it. That means that the game is found the game onto my USB. So what you can do now is just press X and it will go ahead and launch the game. However, it can be a bit slow and it's not really recommended running them off the USB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this game to my um, from my USB to my PS3's internal hard drive. Let's just go along and start the um, file manager. Once you're in here, you just want to double click on Multiman CM. Then you want to click these three dots at the top to go back. Just press X on that a few times. So then it's just going to back you out to this section right here. As you can see, it has everything on here, so dev hard drive, this is not a normal hard drive, dev hard drive 1. But what we're looking for right here is dev USB 000, because our USB should be in the original developer port, so just press X to open that. Then you just want to go over to games. And here is my game, Bionic Commando. So what I want to do is just press circle on it, and then just press X on copy. Then what you want to do is just back out by pressing X on these three dots a couple of times. Then you want to scroll down to Dev Hard Drive 0, just press X twice on that. Then you want to go down to the Games folder. Now you can tell this is the correct one because it has the sort of um, strange, I guess it's like a robot um, logo next to it, so just press X on that. And this is where you want to paste your game. So as you can see I've got nothing in here right now, so I'm just going to do Circle and then do Paste. Then you just want to do um, yes. Now it's going to copy across. So this can take quite a long time. So I'm just going to come back um, when it's done. It said it's estimating about eight minutes, so not too bad. But I'll show you guys what to do next um, when it's finished. Right guys, so when it's finished copying across, it will just end up looking like this. So you can just go ahead and press the X on the X. <laughs> Then you want to go ahead over to the game controller right here and just double click X on that. It 
it's then just going to back you out to your games. Now, as you can see, I've got now got two um, Bionic Commandos. I've got a USB version and a hard drive version. So what I'm going to do to prove that this works, I'm just going to unplug my USB real quick. Then it's going to refresh automatically, or I can just do it. And as you can see, Bionic Commando hard drive. So what I'm going to do on that is I'm just going to press X. Then it's just going to back me up to my home screen. Then I just want to scroll up again. And it's just going to show up um, like this in the sort of, it, it looks like you've got a disc in even though you haven't. So it's going to show up like this in a disc. What you want to do, you just want to press X to launch it. My game is doing some kind of update. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pause this and then come back to you guys when it's done. Okay guys, so the game has now finished copying across. Um, it probably took about, I don't know, 10 minutes doing all those updates and trophy updates and all that rubbish. But anyway, we're finally on the game. So let me just um, give it a go and test how good it is. This will have full working sound and everything like that. I've never actually played this game before, so. Anyway guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.